Lee right around. Smash Riding out of the blue corner. That's four. 24 years of age, at a height of 5'10", a weight of 185 pounds, with a record of four wins, five losses, from Fairview, North Carolina. Fighting for Team Husky, Whoops. blue corner, Johnny Buck. His opponent fighting out of the red corner at 27 years of age at a height of 6'2", a weight of 185 pounds with one win, three losses from Atlanta, Georgia. Fighting for the in the ring I'm sports, the red board. corner, Sean Kilgus. Big mistake. You're going against Johnny Buck Knight? Chris Are you Myers kidding me? Going against the Knight. For three, five minute rounds. You go against the great. From go. Yingling, Wild Bills, and Hooter. Getting a little tongue tied there, Fred. Southside Steve Bad Dog me for 10 straight seconds. You go against the grain, but you don't go against the Knight. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was decent. Terrible song playing in the background. The right worst now. of the night. Awful. <laughs> uh, 5366-917 area code said I have panties that look like those white trunks. If, if you if you want to send you us a picture. You are flirting with danger <laughs> there, If you son. want to send us a picture, feel free, 404-394-3252. The owner of that number's name is Bob, by the way. If, if. You're below 150 pounds. And female, of course. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm getting weird. Don't matter. Nice kicks. You know, I thought it was, I think it's great that some of these guys are bringing the old school fight shorts back. Kilga showing great dexterity in his legs. Oh, I mean, tremendous dexterity. Phenomenal dexterity. You got two guys that look like they're willing to trade here. Johnny Buck Knife, who I'm, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Let's see if we can get it started here. 24 years old, 5'10", weighing even 185 pounds, 4 and 5. So he's looking to get back to 500. Sean Kilgus. Buck fighting out of North Carolina, Team Husky. Sean Kilgus, 27 years old, 6'2", definite height advantage here. 185 pounds, 1 and 3. Both these guys are losing records. Atlanta, Georgia, in the ring sports. Kilgus. Got a little guy. I will say this: this I, I might be stretching a little bit. A shade of Ivan Drago. A shade. That's a stretch. Ah. Maybe a, I'll give a slight shade. A shade. Maybe a it's small a shadow. A shade. Inside. A shade. A shadow. I'll take what you got. One and inside. The only reason I bring up Ivan Drago is because when I was at Mexican trivia on Wednesday night. And I call it Mexican trivia, but it's just general trivia. I was about to say, how do you know so much about Mexicans? Even if the, I don't think that's a proper PC I term. How about so we say Hispanic <laughs> trivia? I, okay, I, I, I call it Mexican trivia because it's at a Mexican restaurant. There was a lot of there was two rocky questions. So I'm all about smile and driving. You should have smashed that. We're exchanging leg kicks here. Somebody forgot to tell these guys the MMA fight. We're going straight Lumpini Stadium right now. Inside leg kick there from Kilgus. He looks like he might want to counter with leg kicks. Good, follow it up! Follow that up! Come on! You're in three minutes! Take the round! Both these guys, Kilgus definitely the more relaxed of the two. Both guys Bring him to me. pretty relaxed. Just exchanging leg kicks. Kilgus is kind of throwing him out there, though. Not really, like, putting a ton on him. This is pro MMA, 185 pounds. I'm Cliff Redwell along with my, ooh, nice head kick. Along with my partner, Lee Roper. Oh, he's got his own, he's got his own little stick now. A little flurry there from Johnny Buck Knife. Already seeing some blistering on Johnny Buck Knife's leg. 
I will say this, if I'm a ring judge, which I probably never would be, because I think you have to stay sober for that, <laughs> which I'm clearly against. Um, at a fight, of course, at a fight. Finally you know, caught that down. leg kick. He changed off to a half on the way down. I noticed it. Uh, the way I score, and you're right, man, Buck's leg is whelped up a little bit. I basically, at the end of the fight, submission attempts aside, aside, ring generalship, effective aggressiveness. I tell myself, who would I rather have been in that, in that round? Right now, although Buck has some welting on his leg, Buck's got a takedown to his credit, so I'd rather be Buck. Make him come in again. Follow that up. Kilgus needs to show a little bit more aggressiveness here. He's not going to win the round. Oh! Buck's got to sense it here. He don't need to rush it. But I think he needs to get down there and test Kilgus's wits right now. He dropped him with a looping right hand. Caught him right behind the ear. Short time, Kilgus gets back to his feet. So you got Buck with a takedown and a drop. That's going to be a slip for Kilgus. The number one MMA fight show in the Southeast returns in only three weeks for a very special show. On Friday, May 7th, Wild Bill's Fight Night returns with a show where all the tickets are only $25. For only 25 bucks, you could be sitting ringside in row one, up close and personal to all the hard hitting action. It's first come, first serve, so buy your tickets now. Wild Bill's Fight Night on Friday, May 7th will feature an all amateur night of fights where several titles will be on the line. Wild Bill's Fight Night, Friday, May 7th. Because this girl is mad-dogging the, the ring sign. I'm not complaining. Is she mad-dogging or is the Hooters girl chaperone just giving her the nod every time? I mean, you're Bobby Cox, so to speak. And you're just staying with your, with your guy that started. You're staying with John Smoltz. It's John Smoltz I put out there. I'm staying with Smoltz. She is pitching a shutout tonight. I wouldn't say that. Who do you think won that round, Lee? I'm going Johnny Buck. Kilgus did some damage, but not enough to think I'd take the round. I think if we're in a four or five round fight, those leg kicks maybe pay dividends, but I really don't know if they're gonna pay enough dividends. Buck, Buck's legs whelped up, but Buck's got some trunks. Kilgus needs to follow up those leg kicks, put some combinations together. If he wants to win the judges over on his side, he's not going to win it just, just dropping those leg kicks in, trying to keep Buck off balance. I agree with you, sir, and Buck is no stranger to the squat rack. To your right, keep so, to your right. Do some jab. Go that way to me. Now. Kilgus definitely in more of a traditional tie fighter kind of stance. His chest is up a little bit. He's a lot more relaxed. He's leaning back a little bit more. Now, push. Buck a little bit, a little bit now, more forward on his toes. Forward. Definitely got some contrast in styles here, but that contrast in style right now is is winning the fight for Buck with a takedown and a drop, takedown and a knockdown, if you will. Whoa! Somebody dropping f bombs behind us. This is a PG show. PG-13. I made sure of that with my foul mouth earlier. We're going to get a call from Comcast. They're not going to renew our contract for next year for zero dollars. Appreciate everybody tuning in live on the internet. Go fight! Live.com. This is our second to the last fight of the night, 185 pound pro MMA. Oh, Kilgus going leg kick, head kick. And turning his back, not recommended. Buck just running him over with his hips right there, dropping elbows on the side, trying to trap that arm and he's got it trapped now. Little rabbit punches here to the side. Kilgus trying to cover up. A real loose half guard for Kilgus. Do 
Do you find yourself texting more now that you have an iPhone, Lee? Quite a bit more. A ridiculous amount, right? Yeah, there we go. Can't help it. There you go with that traffic. Texting people you didn't even text before. I know, it's strange. It's just ease of use. Step around, step around, ease of use. Step around. Oh, maybe a little. Looked like Buck thought about a, a guillotine there for a second. Now he's got, got a little crucifix. Kilgus snaked his arm out. Half guard here there for Buck. He's thinking about, thinking right about Kamora. Right Those man. elbows are legal. You can only, you can't go 12 to 6, which is ceiling to floor. Pretty much everything else is legal. Basically, an elbow spike is illegal. I think that's pretty much universal for MMA rules. For the entire world. I wouldn't necessarily say world. There might be some crazy underground fight league you don't know about, Lee. Excuse me, Cliff. You I don't just, live hardcore like you, you, you do. Just, you just made a blanket statement about the world. Come on. Kilgus can actually could sweep from here. More of a traditional jujitsu sweep. Swimming that near arm up through the crotch and trying to kind of basket sweep him over. Push the face with your right hand and drop. There you go, good. He's got a near cradle locked up. Now posture. Now posture. No near fall though. Did I think not. he's holding two. <laughs> the ref is holding two. That was good. That was good. Look, thinking Kamora again here. He's stepping over Mount. That was a nice little setup. Got him thinking about the Kamora, then stepped over. I will say this, though, man. The Mount's kind of overrated. We'll see what Buck does with it here. A low Mount being on Kilgus's hips. Big elbows for Buck. Kilgus in a decent amount of trouble here. Chris Mize, our referee, looking on intently. Short time in the round. Probably not gonna stop it this close to the end of the round, but Buck's definitely gonna put an exclamation point on it. I think Chris Mize did stop it. He did stop it. Buck's corner thinks there's a third round. Chris Mize stopped the fight a half a second. Buck, Buck looked up to the ref as to say, are you gonna let these unanswered shots go? And right then, Chris Mize stopped it. I'll give him a A for the mat, A for the fight, and an A plus for the acting job. This was scheduled for professional mixed martial arts for three five minute rounds. In the second round, at the four minute and 59 second mark, when TKO strikes to the head, your winner is blue corner, Johnny Buck.